stack stack can be described as uh, another uh, open stack installer. We have a lot of them because it's quite hard to install open stack, so we are trying hard to make it easier a little bit for you. So pack stack. Uh, pe uh, purpose of pack stack is uh, so uh, like newcomer for OpenStack can install uh, OpenStack uh, as easy as it's possible. Uh, PackStack is pretty new project. It's only one year since Derek Higgins started with it. And uh, right now it's me, uh, Ivan Chavero, which is uh, located in Mexico, and uh, Francesco, which is also here in Brno. Francesco Waller, sorry. So, uh, what's under the hood of Packstack? Packstack is uh, based on a uh, pretty simple uh, framework uh, called Overt Installer. It's framework for, oh yeah, Overt Installer. It's framework for uh, command line interface installers. Uh, and uh, on top of that, there are uh, logic how to use Puppet and Puppet modules to do the actual installation. Anybody knows, uh, don't know who, uh, it, uh, what is uh, Puppet? One. Okay, so Puppet is a tool for installation. <laughs> for installation, it, you basically describe uh, what you want to have on your host in a text file, which is called uh, manifest in, in Puppet world, and then Puppet will install all all things which uh, was described, which were described in, in the module for you. So, uh, the principle of Packstack is that uh, since still uh, Puppet will install everything for you, but uh, the manifest you will have to write if you want, if you would like to use only, only Puppet. So the principle of Packstack is that uh, Packstack will generate all manifest required to to install OpenStack for you from the single uh, config file, and then those manifests are uh, distributed to hosts, which you selected uh, in the config file, and uh, also PackStack will run Puppet for you to install whatever is needed. So here are a uh, few examples. Uh, first one is uh, when you want uh, everything in one host, you will just run text tech minus minus all in one and uh, wait about uh, half an hour and uh, your open stack instance is installed. Uh, the second one is uh, when you want to have a little more advanced installation uh, you will use install host. The first uh, IP in in the uh, in the parameter is uh, the controller uh, node, and the second and third uh, IP address are are uh, compute nodes. Uh, you probably heard uh, from Mirka what compute nodes are. They no, or, or Nova node, Nova compute node. Okay. And uh, the third one is if. Since PackStack is uh, currently uh, uh, pretty much configurable, uh, you can uh, uh, change anything you want, uh, what is provided, of course, by PackStack. So first you will generate the, co the, the answer files or the config files, uh, then you will edit it, and then you will run PackStack with that uh, config file and hopefully the installation will uh, end and you will have what you wanted. Since Packstack is pretty much a young project and uh, it's dependent on many, many things, there are lots of issues, so uh, please try uh, the third example only if you know what you are doing because usually if you will try any, anything else than all in one, it will fail. So that's it for me. Uh, I will show you a demo 
uh, I will run uh, Packstack on one in my VM of uh, it's Federal 20 VM. Hopefully it won't fail. And uh, in case you have any questions, I guess we can start with Jirka right now. And I, in the meantime, I will prepare my, my demo. That's it for me. Yes, so uh, well, like, um, how do you mean what about scaling? So yeah, so the single source of truth is mainly meant on the, on the component level or on service level. And you can, that doesn't mean you don't, you cannot do uh, high availability setups or load balancing setups. That, that's still like, uh, you can make your MySQL inst instance highly available even though it's, you know, <laughs> quite a lot of work. Uh, and uh, you can make, uh, you can run multiple instances of those services, uh, like for example, uh, the Keystone service, which uh, gives the user data. But um, what is meant by single source of truth is that you always go to Keystone, uh, that you don't cache on Nova level, for example, some information about users so, so that you always query Keystone. And uh, you can have it load balanced, but uh, they're going to work on the same database of, of users, the, the instances of Keystone. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, could you, could you speak up a little bit? I'm sorry, I think I didn't hear some of some parts of the question and it should be <laughs> I'm sorry, c could you please maybe come down or something? <laughs> Okay. I think it was near from, from that part. Uh, my, my question is simple. Keystone looks like a potential the Achilles point for all the solutions. Mm -hmm. How you can uh, guarantee the availability for the rest of the component if constant fails? Do you can duplicate in some way? Uh, yes, so. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. That kind of relates to the, to the uh, question before. Uh, you should be able to set up all the components of OpenStack in, in a ma manner that uh, will guarantee the high availability of the service. So it ranges from uh, the very low parts like MySQL database or um, uh, message queue, the AMQP uh, message bus like uh, Cupid or, um, or uh, RabbitMQ. Uh, and also the services. So everything should be um, set up in a high availability manner from the very bottom to the very top. So if uh, one ser server goes out, it shouldn't uh, affect you. you wanna continue? Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, for some reason, my VM does not have uh, 
uh, connectivity to YAM repositories. So, uh, what? Yeah, uh, well, I have connectivity to 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 internet from my laptop, but the VMs don't, and right now I don't really know how uh, why. So, sorry, but uh, like basically when your VM will be able to connect to internet, uh, you will just run FastTech all in one. I, uh, I uh, uh, skipped few installations here because we, do, we, would, need, we, we would not need it for a demo, but uh, that's it. And you will see lots of those uh, skips. And then finally, you will see something like uh, installation completed successfully with uh, this additional info and everything will be uh, functional. Unfortunately, it's not. Uh, I was, uh, I thought that it will do something like that. So I ran installation uh, before I came here uh, in the office. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, after this successful installation, you will get something like this in, in your uh, dashboard. It is, it is not working, unfortunately, <laughs> because uh, for some reason, I, it did not survive my uh, way here. So sorry for that. Yep, question. Uh, since, uh, well, for for each uh, uh, major OpenStack releases like Grizzly and Havana, we have uh, few few uh, releases. Uh, we are trying to release as as soon as possible. If there is some some fi uh, bug, or we have some fix for for some bug, and for new re uh, features. Of also, so like there is, it, it, there is no no schedule for that. We just do that uh, as as it comes. Any other question? Yep. No. Okay. So thank you. Uh, yeah, sure, I can. Uh, that's really I can. Sure. So this is a generated uh, answer file uh, by Owen One, and like you can you can uh, choose uh, which components you want to install. Uh, you can choose uh, usually uh, which component on which host should run and uh, also a few other uh, options. There are lots of them. Uh, you will need to read a little bit if you want to know what exactly all of those means. But uh, uh, for each for each uh, uh, parameter, there is a uh, at least brief uh, command. So hopefully, it will help you a little bit. But if you don't know what you are doing, then don't use anything else than all in one, please. Finally, that's it. Anything else? Nope. Sorry for the bad <laughs>